It's a medium olive hook I'm using as a camera sign, it's a B160 size 10. And this one here, it's what it is, it's the shank length is the size, it's a standard 12, but the gate is a size 10. Thread I'm going to be using as a uni thread A0 and olive. Now we simply take our thread down until basically in line with the point once you let the bobbin go and then you can cut away the waste piece now bring the thread halfway back up which will give you the position for the wing then simply remove the fine fluff from the bottom just remove that now you basically want to open an area out where you've got I would say at least a third of the feather which is the, the tip and then the rest we're going to draw it back which will form the body and the natural curve of the fly or the, which gives the impression of the natural curve of the body of the fly and the fine fibers left at the end here are actually going to form the wing so we simply draw it back get the length we're looking at at least I would say at least the length where you tie it in, the length of the hook hanging over the back Pull it nice and tight, come in, hold it with your left, left hand at this point, and then tie it down. Now what you've got here is this natural curve in the, the body, an impression of a body, and then the tip, which is going to form the, the tail, which you simply do is take out the centre, so get a good sharp pair of scissors, and then be brave. Snick out the centre, and there you go. That will form. If I drop that there, you'll see the tail. Let's give the impression of a tail. So once you've done that, you see how the wing fibres at the tip, or the fibres you've drawn back to form the body, these now can be used for the wing. But what I do first is make sure they're not secure. The stem, I just pull it down and separate the fibres from the stem. And bring the thread to the front and then remove the waste piece just take it out and then tidy up and then bring the thread back up you want to bring it back to the back of the fly where you originally tied in the mallard now as you see there we're ready, there's your wing nice shape as well, it's curving away from the body the feather I'm going to use to form the hackle this is a sooty olive really black as you see but in the light there's a nice olive comes off it now what this is is a natural feather or a natural uh, black dyed in olive dyed in medium olive to get this really dark sooty what we say a sooty olive colour now take away some of the fibres from the bottom catch the stem on my side with the underside of the hackle facing myself and then carry on down with the thread to the eye. Now, it really depends how much hackle you prefer. Now I'm going to put in at least a good f five or six turns at the back. Now when you bring the hackle to the front, I'm going to repeat that, but I'm going to get really close to the wing. Just draw the wing back. Now the fibre length can be short or long, depends on what you like. Now if there's some fibres getting drawn forward as you wind the hackle down, just draw them back with the hackle and lock them back out of the way. You'll get them to sit properly. Just have a look. Bring the hackle across the thread three or four turns to secure it. Now what I like to do is make sure nothing's going forward to the eye and bring the thread to the front and then just form a small head take your time so 
see how things are sitting. And go in and whip finish. Just ignore the hackle just now. Trim away your thread. You can break off your hackle. Or cut it off. It's a good indication if you can break off the hackle that you've tied it in nice and tight. And there we are. Sort it. See we twist it. It's easy to bring back up. And that there is your hatch master in the sooty olive. All we've got to do now is to varnish the head. This is a this is small a small one now. They really they can tie them quite can tie them much bigger. But these are you can pick the feathers. Obviously in the smaller sizes you need the like the one I used in this fly. And uh, as you see it's very simple to tie. And it certainly looks apart. Now you could put a wee tiny bit of dubbing on the body if you don't feel confident with the, the bear hook. Uh, but it doesn't really need it. It still keeps working the way it is. And anyway, and that there is your sooty olive version of the Hatchmaster. Very simple and effective mayfly dressing. Mm -hmm.